So we need to put a title here. We get back to our code under accounts show fields here. We'll put this into a div div class. We need to spread the div so that it will, it will touch both S strings. So we'll do call access to this basic bootstrap div. So with this, it spreads. Then we can now put the title. We can do h3 uh, count history h3, and that's beautiful. We need to put it in the center, which which means we'll do plus and do text center. Now we've done that, we can refresh. Beautiful. So we now have account history here. Another thing we can do is um, work on the user ID. Uh, do we need a user ID? I doubt because we're already viewing the user. So this is the ID field we go. Then, um, or we should just put it so we can do. That means uh, if we're going to put the username, we have to link connect account history to user the way we, have, we connected account. So let's go check out account histories table, account histories table, and we're looking at. You see account ID, then there's user ID. So we want to end up being able to do something like this user email. All right, we want to be able to do that. Um, but there will be an error here because we've not created that. And then um, let's go and do that. We go here and um, we click on um, model, click on user we need to tell user how it's related to account history so a user can have many account histories the way a user has QR code so we'll replace and call it account histories beautiful account history so, but we have to go to the account history page itself and connect them. An account history has one user. So we copy this, go to account history. An account history has one user. Paste. So we have account, we have user. Find the user that has this account. Account history. So belongs to user so beautiful if we now refresh we should be able to see the user's email here Re refresh and we see the email really okay yeah because there is no account history created yet that's why we're not seeing it we have to remove the id so we go to this place um let's close this page close this page and um, here oops what did I just click? So here on the account histories table, uh, we're gonna remove it's not user ID now, we're just going to put user. And somehow something is telling me that um it's it's a better design to have the account ID um after the user email. So I'm going to drag this up. So it depends on how you want to do your own design. So um history message. All right, so this is the main reason why we have this. We, we don't need any control. Nobody should be able to edit an account history, um, delete an account history or do anything. So we don't need any of that to be possible. None of that should be possible. Only our system should be able to do that. So I'm removing that column. I've removed it here too. So we have user ID message, period. I'm refreshing. And beautiful so we have the user the, that owns the account the ID and then the message all right that's the account history so if somebody um, scans a QR code and money enters his account it will be it will read it will read that XYZ um, user number 59 whose name is Priscilla with the account number of this made this payment whatever all right guys thank you very much I hope this made sense and um, I will continue in the next video.